Hello guys, Kudlis here and welcome back to another episode of World of Warcraft Leveling Legacy. In the last episode we defeated some trolls and some wendigos in the surrounding areas of Karanos in, in Dunmoreau. And today we are going to continue our quest line with, uh, with the trusted dwarf Thunderhand. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode, but I think this one will be a lot more fun. Uh, oh, uh, some other errors here. Uh, as uh, f By the way, from the last episode, I have some corrections to make d uh, during the talk I had about the uh, the War of the Three Hammers. Uh, during the first one, uh, there wasn't any summoning of Ragnaros at all. Uh, the consequence of, of summoning Ragnaros happened after the... Um, Basically, the Wildhammer clan and the Bronzeberg clan force the Dark Irons back after they have been defeated at, at both fronts. And then they summon Ragnaros as a last resort, basically, to devastate the land. Uh, let's talk to Delbra Cranktoggle. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Ah, you must be a dwarf that Captain Tharon said he'd be sending. I've already used the Deployatron to get most of the Covert Ops team into position at Frostmane Retreat. They're just waiting on your arrival. The Cataclysm has brought our enemies closer to home, so the Chief of Nomergan, Covert Operations, asked me to build a device to dispatch the personal personnel quickly and quietly to any corner of John Moreau. Behold, the Ultrasave Personnel Launcher! With a jolt of electricity and benefit of a VLD parachute system, uh, that's very late deployment for you laymen. This baby will get you there to the front line in no time. Just hop aboard and prepare to flight. A slamp Wobblecog will be waiting for you in the drop zone. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you, Mr. Dwarfy Dwarf. So he's sending us over to another area. Oh, we need to use this thing here, the ultra safe personnel launcher. This is going to be fun. Uh, oh, we should. Yeah, let's not do the honor student left quest just yet, though. Uh, so this is safe, right? To meet you. If the gnomes made it, then they. I'm gonna trust this guy. This is kind of fun. Woohoo! Jeez, this is really high. You can see Iron Forge down there, and b over there is Tinkertown behind that cog. But we are landing here next to this area with some troll buildings to the right here. Oh, we see another covert operation gnome uh, with uh, some daggers here going in for it. Here we have a slump wobble cog. Nomergan covert ops. Hey, hey, don't worry. The feeling of being zapped won't stay with you more than a few minutes. All in all, it's not a bad way to get where you're going. The parachute system needs some work, though. A very late deployment indeed, sometimes too late. Anyway, we have a mission to carry out. Right. Okay, so we have a couple of quests we can get. We could eliminate the resistance and strike from above. Uh, the frost main chieftains died in the initial Trog onslaught, but they've been led to by the well-respected warrior ever since. Batog the Berserker was the one who organized the Frostman retreat, the construction of the new village, and the strikes against Karanos and the Mountaineers. Oh, so this guy is behind everything. Uh, if you remove Batok, the Frostmane's organization should crumble, leaving the Mountaineers free to pick up the survivors. Batok will be in the village just east of here. Delbert's technicians have been up all day and night helping us prepare for this strike. Aside from building and tuning the personnel launcher, his men have prepared the covert operations air wing for a strike on Frost Main Retreat. They'll be waiting for a signal to begin their strikes. Take this flare with you and set up it off near the cluster of buildings to the north and northern end of the village and the buildings on the southern edge of the village. The flying machines will make a quick strike at you have a great sight. Day now. So that we're gonna do call in an airstrike, man. We're playing Call of Duty apparently. Uh, Snevik, hello Snevik, the blade. This guy looks really ridiculous. Oh my god, look at him. Hello, I kind of feel nasty today. Hey, you know, have you seen those babes? They got teeth all over them. Uh, we need to halt the construction of this frost main village. If we let them get too entrenched, it will be more difficult to keep them from settling here permanently. It's time to give those brutes a gnome's eye view of the world. <laughs> That's a good joke. Uh, take this gnomish viewpoint equalizer and use it on the Frostmane builders to bring them down to our level. They won't be able to lift their tools and construction will come to a standstill. Burning. Okay, so let's make these guys smaller. What are you doing? I'm face palming the snow, man. It just doesn't feel right. This world, it's so dark. I can't take it anymore. So we have a couple of these guys. These builders, they aren't hostile to us. Uh, I, do we have any new abilities? Yes, we have Victory Rush. This one is nice. It'll give us the opportunity to heal ourselves up if, if, if we've taken damage right after killing something. It'll reset the cooldown basically so we can use it every time we... That was Batok the Berserker, really. Uh, so we'll be able to use it. Oh, let's not kill this guy. Let's use the, uh, the viewpoint equalizer instead. 
Uh, because yeah, some of these warriors are feral or aggressive, but the builders are not. So we can uh, simply go to the up close to the builder and uh, use the the shrinking device, showing everyone else what it's like to be a gnome for more than fifty years. <laughs> That's the flavor text on that one. Uh, so there are two huts that we have to use this airstrike on. So I think it's this one right here. Uh, we have to go inside the hut, maybe. Or, no, it's this one. It, this is the hut. This one is like a, a tent or, or some sort of... Yeah, I guess. Target not in line of sight. So we need to stay here. And then we can use the signal fire. It's a bit, you know... Uh, like getting this quest done completely in the right order is... Uh, or in the right way. The text quest line doesn't really tell you exactly where you need to stand to use the item. So let's shrink some more of these guys. Uh, I, I like killing these trolls. Uh, by the way, we need to talk about the, the troll lore a bit more because these guys are... Oh, used the wrong item there. Uh, these guys are frost trolls and the frost trolls, they belong to the once ancient tribe or a troll troll tribe known, uh, known as the Drakari. And the Drakari, they are uh, situated and they have a huge base in Zuldrak. Uh, the trolls, they have these cool, easy to remember names. Um, oh. I guess this is one of these these retreats. Uh, they, they have the Gurubachi trolls have Zul Gurub, and the Amani trolls have Zul uh, Aman, and then the Drakari have uh, Zul Drak. And Zul Drak is a huge zone in Northrend, which we are going to go to eventually. But those quests are kind of cool too. Go over. So let's turn into Snevik first. Mm, interesting. Well done, Thunderhand. That'll teach him not to mess with us in our home. Off and away. Wow, that's all you have to say, man. I don't feel really good today. I've been eating all these barrels behind here with explosives. Gonna blow up every time now. Every time, anytime. Um, eliminate resistance. Excellent job, Thunderhand. With Bartok dead, I'll send the signal to Captain Thoron. This should be the end of the Frostman threat. That's good. Get some mail boots. Uh, both you and the air wing performed admirably. There's no way the frost mains will remain here now. All that remains is to begin mopping up the survivors. Oof. Uh, Captain Tharon asked me to pass along his thanks for your help and congratulations on successful missions. He and his men are cleaning up the last of the trolls and are tending to the wounded. He also wanted me to ask you to check our rep out reports about troll raids at Ambersill Ranch. So that's where we're heading next, to the north. Ask for Sergeant Flinthammer when you arrive. Flint Hammer, you say? So is there a way for us to get over there quickly? There should be like a, like a teleportation device or, or something. I mean, there are gnomes. Uh, but I guess it isn't too far. But we got the transportation from like over there. Of, of Like the distances are about the same. I think we should have gotten... Oh, gotten some sort of teleportation help there, but I guess we have to run. It's not worse than what we did with the the Orc Shaman when we had to run across the entire flooded area of, of the South Fury River. That was a bit worse. But yeah, I like the running animations for the dwarf uh, that were introduced in Warlords of Raynor. They look kind of stalwart and uh, they have this this huge, this little small spring in their step, making them look kind of kind of cool. I, I like the dwarves. They're kind of tight and uh, yeah. By the way, I'm going to upload a video about the origin story of uh, of the humans and the dwarves and the gnomes. If you haven't already watched that, I also upload a video on on the uh, ambitions and the uh, the motives of Sargeras and the Burning Legion because they weren't uh, well. The the forces of Sargeras weren't as um, as blindly going into a rage as we previously thought. Uh, I noticed a lot of stuff reading the the newly released uh, Warcraft Chronicles or World of Warcraft Chronicles Volume One, and that was a lot of fun. Oh, come here, Fluffy! I need to kill you. I want to eat some lunch. I want that rabbit face. Okay, Sergeant Flint Hammer. Oh, uh, so you're the one who's been helping Captain Tharon beat back the Frostmane trolls. I've seen your name in the reports. It's good to finally meet you. You'll be, you might be just the warrior we need to help secure the ranch. See so this is the ranch here. They have some of these mounts that are familiar to 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 dwarves. These are the rams, and rams are really good at climbing mountains. So that's why they have this affinity for each other, I guess. Great to meet you. The reports I'm sending Captain Tharons can't really convey the amount of trouble the Frostmains have created for us. Your assault on the village has uh, started to relieve some of the pressure. The raids are still frequent, but the trolls don't have the numbers they once did. Even so, my men are tired and their morale is flagging. Would you help us keep watch for the Frostmain raiders? They could turn up at any time. Oh no, maybe they turn up right now. Oh, they are talking in Dwarvish. Come on, Fluffy, I just want to give you a bath. You are going to eat that rabbit, aren't you? Or we can buy some stuff from her. 
Hey, you're a vendor. Vendor, aren't you? Hey, let's. Welcome. We can buy the snow rabbit. Ah, this evil little. She's a dwarf. She's a dwarf, like a child, I guess, because she's really small. <laughs> this looks really crazy. She's just like a shrunken, shrunken dwarf. Look at her. But she looks really old. Oh my god, I haven't really noticed. Oh, we have the invasion here. They stole them. I didn't pay attention. Oh no. <laughs> I guess we might. Oh, I guess they are supposed to steal them, and we have to take the 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 rams back. Why couldn't we just kill them now, though? That would have been much easier. If you want your rams back, come get them, cowards! Uh, what can I do for you? Let's charge in and get rid of these guys. I like the design of the the the, the frost trolls uh, or the drakari. I would have liked to be playing as one of them. I I hope Blizzard introduces some sort of racial uh, like uh, even though it really wouldn't fit the lore uh, of the of the game. I would have enjoyed using the designs of some of the other uh, uh, other like factions for for the different races. Well met. With your help, we've managed to weaken the raiders considerably. They haven't suffered such losses since the raids began. Uh, now it's time to press our advantage. Ooh, we get some new stuff here. We get some boots. Be no good. bracers. We don't have bracers, do we? Let's put on the boots as well. Now we look kind of cool. We also have the recipe for beer braced boards. I'm going to save those. And the letter for, for Grimlock here, who is we are supposed to deliver to Ironforge. Uh, a couple of more quests here. Look at these boots, man. Matching our pants. What can I get for you today? What can I get there on Amber still? Uh, you have not had the seed until you've taken the reins of a finely bred Barak Torol mountain ram, my friend. Please feel free to inspect these fine contraption uh, companions contraptions to an adventure. They'll serve you well, believe me. Uh, the rams we raise are trained here. Are reins and trained here at Amber still. Ranch have long been the mounts of choice for Dunmoro's mountaineers. Hey. Aye, uh, there's a few here, but not enough to guard my family and all the animals. A few brave Frostmane raiders have taken the, by taken to stealing our rams. Yeah, we just saw they stole the rams, man, under the cover of the night, taking them south to the Tundred Hills. Would you be willing to help us re help return them? Uh, you'll need to get fairly close to them and give a sharp whistle to get their attention. Uh, the training will take over from here. No, from there. Off with you. So, um, this is quite interesting. You are supposed to go and use, actually use an emote here. Uh, and to do that, you have to write, uh, you can write whatever you want by typing slash E and then write uh, a word next to your, your, your like the E in, in the text box to create an emote. But there are certain in-game emotes like slash train or slash dance that give the, uh, they give the diff phrases different animations. So we have to use slash whistle to, to, to get the, um, to get the uh, the rams back. However, this isn't really conveyed well in the quest, so we need to create a macro here. Uh, let's create whistle, and then we can um, macros. By the way, are really useful to make uh, 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 targeting uh, abilities stuff like that a lot easier to to manage. Uh, you can create a lot of codes. Well, not codes, but you can write certain sequences that will happen when you press a key binding, which is super useful if you don't want to have a large amount of, of these action bars Welcome. or uh, have to write things manually in the text bar. Uh, we heard the cries of the middle of the night. It was the morning, sure enough. The herd was missing two rams. The dust of my base known as Vagash have been preying on our livelihood. With Ironforge troops only the spread thin, there's no one to keep Vagash at bay. Uh, perhaps you are brave enough to seek out the base and slay him. Bring me one of his fangs and I'll reward you. Uh, Vakash lurks just above the ranch here, but be warned he is deadly. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, so he is really not far away, but he's been eating the rams. That's terrible. So he is just above up here on the on the like the ridge here. You can see the cave up there next to this this tree, this beautiful polygon tree. So the way to get to him, you have to go back to the... You can see the small line of the trees going here on the minimap. Uh, well, not the line of trees, but the the little little uh, like road here indicated by these fires. Old, good old game, like game mechanic, uh, game design trick there by using fires or light to, to guide the people. So here we have Vagash. As you can see, a trace of these, these pools of blood and meat from the rams. This Vendigo or, or some sort of Yeti, I guess. Uh, Fang of Vagash. Oh, we got the Wendigo leggings from the previous quests. I guess if we'd worn them, we'd be wearing the skin of his brethren. That would have been terrible. What do you have to say now? How are you? Vagash still terrorizes the herd. Please, 
help us killing the wretched beast. No, yeah, we killed him just now. Very well done. Veron will be happy when he hears the good news. To kill Vagas. This accent is really this accent is really terrible. Uh, I imagine one day you'll be fighting alongside King Magni's men on the Alliance front. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Oh, level 10! Let's get into... Oh. No, we didn't reach level 10, we did level 9. Sorry, we got the defensive stance, I thought, because we got the uh, like the tutorial thing there, we got level 10. We got defensive stance. The stance is here. We can now change between uh, defensive or battle stance. Defense stance works for tanking and it increases the uh, the defenses of, uh, of our character, reduces damage taken by 20%, and increases threat regeneration, or no, threat generation, I mean. And also generates a rage every three seconds while in combat. So we'll be able to take the uh, the much like a protection paladin, the protection warrior utilizes the defensive. Um, well, both have like tanking properties, and uh, they'll be able to take a lot of damage from uh, and the attention of monsters to keep the other party members or you know raid members safe from from damage. Basically, that's aggro and, and tanking for you. Uh, now we need to head down here to the stolen rams and use our macro, the whistle macro on these rams here. Uh, oh, there we go. One done. And this quest is really easy. I like the design of this. Even though it's really represented raw uh, or terribly with the way you have to use the... Uh... Is it even mentioned in the quest text? Yeah, by using slash whistle. So you gotta go in here and, and check that out if you haven't really gotten there. But it does teach you to use macros or to use emotes, which is really cool. I guess that's like... The, the coin has two sides to it. Uh, also gonna kill some of these bears just for the sake of killing them. I want to get to level 10 to, to get some... Um, how long is the range of this whistle? I guess we need to be a little closer. There we go. So, um, yeah, uh, I want to get to level 10 to show you guys the different specs of the warrior because I love those, uh, those different specs we have. And I will... Maybe I won't be able to do that if we... If I'm... You know, I'm going to change up the characters. You know, I'm how my plans are. We're going to vote on what character I'm going to continue with. And on some of the characters, I won't be able to get to level 10 even because we are going to... Um, for example, the gnomes in... If I'm starting gnome here, the gnomes will only do this little area that I seg separated up here to the left here to New as New Tinkertown. Uh, while... Uh, and the same with the trolls as, as I've already done the Durotar area. So what I have to do is I have to level those guys up to level 10 and then I'm going to make a separate video detailing the characters that I won't be continuing on that you guys didn't vote for and go through all the talents because I just, just want to be thorough. So we are already at episode 10 of these this series. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, I, I enjoy it uh, reckon, um, uh, a lot. I mean, I, I enjoy playing the game and talking a lot about the lore and, and the characters. And I do enjoy the dwarf starting zone. I do believe it's really underrated. I am... Well, the... Ranking in my, my, my starting zone rankings, I, I do enjoy Elwyn the least at this moment. Well, it's really low on my list right now because of the boring quest lines. What's on your mind? The Ramsey rescued and made their way back uh, into the pen. I've got members of the family right uh, on, a, on a day and night watch now. These trolls won't take us by surprise again. Why didn't you do that from the, in the first place, man? I guess you just needed some time to get it all sorted. Uh, let's just, we could eat those to get some stamina buffs, but let's just get rid of these things as we don't really need any Need any of them We should probably use that 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 chest there uh, because we got that from the quest line and there we go looking like uh, World of Warcraft character properly no. with a lot of colors uh, Thank you again for all your help here Thunderhand I have a cousin uh, who used to work in the mines beneath the Gulbolar quarry, but he hasn't been able to work since the trogs flooded into the mines and took control. Oh no, the trogs! The quarry and its camp uh, are used. <laughs> this lady here? Carrots every day for a year if you don't stop! You gotta force feed that rabbit, are you? So you're gonna eat that big one, big fat rabbit. Have a good old meal. <laughs> I have a cousin. He used to in the gold, uh, He worked in Gulbolar quarry. Uh, Trogs are there. The quarry and its camp are just to the southeast of the ranch. Would you be willing to check in on the foreman there and see if anything can be done? Let's go down to the southeast and check out what we can do with uh, with this this quarry with the trogs. This these quests are quite kind of cool, I think. I do remember them to be quite cool. Uh, by the way, the trogs were the uh, as I mentioned, they have the common ancestry with the with the dwarves. Turns out, if the story of the trog origin is a bit different, they retconned it kind of. Kinda of retconned it with the Warcraft Chronicle, uh, the novel, uh, indi like 
uh, I, I guess it's the saga of the uh, the Warcraft uh, universe, the origin of the Warcraft universe, and life on Azeroth. So, uh, the Trogs were uh, the Trogs. Uh, the Trogs were the original creations of the Titan Keepers, made for uh, by with the same like engine known as the the uh, the Forge of Wills that created the Earthen that became the Dwarves and the Mechanomes that became the the Gnomes. And uh, I explain all this in this this other video I had this lore video, uh, but. Uh, the first creation of the Forge of Wills was the uh, was the Trogs because they the Titan Keepers wanted to have a kind of difficult design. They had this complex, intelligent design for for the creature. It turns out it was too complex for the machine, so it created the Trogs instead. You got my oh, this guy is from a uh, he has this <laughs> this text underneath his his uh, his name here, known as the Explorers League. The Explorers League is really part of the. Um, uh, the archaeology and prospecting of the world and unveiling the origin of, of the titans and stuff like that, which the dwarves are mainlining. Uh, mining wasn't the only thing going in the quarry, you know. I led a team of explorers, league of excavators, recovering priceless ancient artifacts. I managed to escape, but my colleagues were much deeper in the mine and didn't survive their initial drug attack. They took pr a great pride in their work and they uh, risked their lives to earn more of our history. If you're going to into the mines, take the pick, uh, this pick with you, and see if you can find anything in the digs uh, the prospector started. So we're gonna finish the job of those worthless explorers. That's fun. Look at this guy. He looks kind of cool. I am a miner, Gorothor. I like to mine and I like to sing. What can I get for you? Frost Dockner. These guys have hilarious names. What can I do for As a you? member of the Senate of the Explorers League, I've taken upon myself to investigate the conditions of the quarry. The Trogs, having, uh, the Trogs have run wild. Uh, they made a mess of the Golbalar quarry as we dug deep into the earth. They poured out, destroying our equipment and trapping many of the miners below ground. We have them. Uh, have to get out. You have to get them out of here. I have to get out of here. I've had mages working overtime to ensure and chant these runes to uh, of return. If you get them to the trapped miners, they can be able to return to the surface oh, safely. So we get to use magic to return these guys up to to the surface once more. Great to meet you. Yeah, trucks! I swear to gods, put them there in the lands only to torment me. Four inches deeper into the mines, then two feet back from the trucks. Uh, Sergeant Flinthammer. I'm not familiar with the name, but I. There's a flint hammer among the miners. He's one of the ones lucky enough to make it out of the mine, but most of my men are still trapped down there. See you soon. Those light blasted trogs turning my something. I need to go back. Uh, those light blasted trogs turning my work site into a wreck. Look at that. There goes another barrel of powder. Oh, I wish I could go down there and wring every one of their scrawny little necks. I want to kill them all. This can't be good for my health. All the stress and anger. Whatever left me of me. Nothing. I killed them myself, but my aim ain't no good anymore. You go into the quarry and kill some of the filthy buggers. I'll pay you. Just hurt them. Kill them. Safe travels. This guy is pretty vicious. Man, doing his voice was really tiresome on my voice as well. Mm. <laughs> Gotta get some liquid down my throat now to, to ease the pain. So here we have more of these trogs. We fought them back in Coldridge Valley, and they are pouring out from the from the ground because they are tied to the ground as well. Because they were trapped in Ultaman, a dungeon that we'll get to eventually. Oh, by the way, these uh, these transporter runes are located. Uh, we need to use the, the device here, this rune of return, on on the uh, the the guys inside the cave. But there are also these mines here that we need to, to use the uh, the ice pick or the, the mining pick on to to get some stuff from them. The artifacts, frozen artifact. Some of these these trucks are asleep. Actually, that's really weird. I didn't realize they were really tired of anything. I guess they've been digging themselves up from the ground. So that's why it might be why. But these guys were locked away in the old Titan like uh, archive or, or area known as Ultaman. And when the dwarves excavated Uldaman, they found a lot of stuff inside. Well, originally the dwarves and gnomes were, were in there, and then they left, and then they came back, and the trolls had taken, or the trogs had taken over um, the area. So uh, yeah, so Uldaman used to be a trog prison, and then it turned into a gnome and mecha gnome, or earthen and mecha gnome, uh, like preservation site for the titans, and. Um, then it became the ancient ruin we now know as know today in game, where a lot of the dwarves have interest because of the titan relics and tied to the 
to the Titan Keepers, the origin of the dwarves. So you can see these miners are really scared. Ah, we need to rescue them. By my beard. I'll get you out of here. So this is this quest line here is one of the last ones in um, in Dermoro. We have um, you got my attention. we have one more quest line after this one, I believe. But also, uh, one fun thing to note is that Dunmoro is situated in uh, in the areas next to to Lochmodan and the Badlands and Searing Gorge and stuff like that. And previously, uh, as I said in the last episode, Searing Gorge, uh, well, was previously Reddish Mountain, separating uh, the southern and eastern kingdoms from, from, the, from the middle one, middle and eastern kingdoms. I guess it still does technically, but how are ya? This area with with the wetlands included and Lochmodan and Twilight Highlands and and Dunmoro. Is called uh, is called Kaz Mudan, and it's named after after um, the the Titan, known as um, as uh, what's his name again? Come on, Kaz Kaz Kazru Kazragor Kaz. I I just you know the tip of the tongue feet. You know the thing called tip of the thong tongue. I mean, uh, this tip of the th tongue effect. That's really hard to say ten times. I mean, that's a tongue twister. Uh, tip of the tongue, tongue twister. Say that ten times in a row. Uh, anyway, <laughs> this uh, Kazgoroth. That's his name. Kazgoroth, man. Ah, <sighs> messing up now. Getting a little tired after doing the voice of this this annoying dwarf outside. With Kazgoroth, and the dwarves have inherited the language of the Titans, uh, sort of in a way. So Kazgoroth, um, Kazmodan, basically means the mountains of Kaz, the mountains of Kazgoroth. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, also, Khadgar, if you've heard about Khadgar, that's um, the uh, the mage who follows you around in World of Draenor. He's really he's also in the World of Warcraft movie as well, and he was the apprentice of Mediv, the Magus, and the guardian of Tirisfall. Uh, well, guardian of of Azeroth, I believe. Uh, but yeah, anyway, uh, Khadgar got his name from uh, uh, Dwarven and comes from the word trust, I, I think. Don't quote me on that, but look it up if you're if you're certain if you're uncertain about Khadgar uh, and want to know more about the the Dwarvish language. Khadgar is a really cool character, though, or Khadgar, sorry, um, Khadgar, Khadgar. Yeah, let's head up to to deliver these quests. And I'm already looking forward to doing the voice of that guy. I have already forgotten his voice, so that's going to be fun. Let's charge uh, these enemies um, on the way there. I enjoy charging because it, like, lim it um, uh, it makes uh, traveling a little quicker, and I do enjoy the animations. Looking forward to animation changes in Legion, though. Oh my God, that's going to be fun, fun, fun. And this is a senator. He is. He doesn't have the voice. What a relief! I'm glad to see that you were able to save so many miners, Thunderhand. I will ma we'll make sure that their families are notified immediately. The senator will know of your role in winning back the mines. Thank you. We got a new belt. Finally, Watch a green back. one. A good belt. Oh, we got a good staff in there as well. Don't need that. Oh, his intelligence. Okay, let's talk to Foreman Stonebrow. Well, that makes me feel a little better. But I won't be happy until they're all dead. All of them! Safe travel. Oh, thank God. So we got some reputation here with, with Nomragon and Ironforge. Is that what you get for doing these quests? Hi. Hi. What are you able to find in the artifacts down there? He has two kegs. Man, this guy. What are you doing with those? Are you drinking right now? Were you able to find any artifacts down there? Yes, I was. Thank you for recovering those artifacts. I will see to it that they are dis displayed <laughs> at the Ironforge Museum with the story of those who died to recover them. Thank you. Thank you, kind sir. Watch your back. Level 10. Amazing. And we also got some new bracers with strength on them. That's really, really nice considering we need strength and stamina. I'm going to talk about this when we get to on the way to the next quest line. What's on your mind? You've been a great help to this in securing the mines and rescuing the trapped miners. The Senate will be heart heartened to hear that uh, you and Captain Tharon's mountaineers have made progress in securing Dun Moro. The worries me what worries me is that I haven't seen any reports from Sergeant Baurum and his detachment that were sent east along the road towards Helm's Bed Lake in order to set up a small outpost. Would you go to Baurum's post and check in on the sergeant? See, yes, see. I can do that. Sounds like a good plan. Okay. Uh, so, uh, we have three specs we can choose from. We can uh, have an arms spec warrior, a battle-hardened master of two-handed weapons, using mobility and overpowering attacks to strike his opponents down. 
Ooh, we can use Mortal Strike, Colossus Smash, Whirlwind, and Rend. This is the two-handed spec that we've been basically been playing as right now, using a two-handed weapon. Uh, Fury Warrior, our Furious Berserker, uh, wielding a weapon in each hand, unleashing a flurry of attacks to carve his opponents to pieces. This is more like a Raging Berserker type of bar bar Barbarian spec, utilizing a weapon in each hand, either a two-handed weapon in each hand when you get Titan Grip, or a one-handed weapon in each hand if you if you want to do that, and you get uh, like moves like Bloodthirst and Raging Blow. And Wild Strike. Protection is the stalwart protector who uses a shield to safeguard himself and his allies, as I previously said about the defensive stance. Uh, this spec utilizes a shield and slams people, and also a one-handed weapon in your in your main hand. You can use Devastate, Shield Block, and Shield Barrier. This one is really nice if you want to level uh, in dungeons and help people out by taking damage. This tanking, however, I really recommend that you practice tanking. Tanks are awesome. But we are going to use a arms, an arm spec with this guy, because we've already been utilizing this weapon, and I think it suits him perfectly. Now we get Mortal Strike instead of Heroic Strike, as you can see. And uh, we also get Rend. Rend is really nice. We can make enemies bleed. Do we have anything else? We have Seasoned Soldier. We're building a 200 melee weapon. All damage dealt is increased by 15%. Super, super nice. And also Mortal Strike reduces healing effectiveness on the target by... Uh, not sure of the percentage there, but it reduces the effectiveness of healing on target for 10 seconds. Really nice in, in PvP. That's why warriors were... Well, I remember back in, in the Burning Crusade when warriors and druids were the champions of the arena. When arena was introduced first. And I haven't done much arena since since those days. Oh, hello. We also got execute. I haven't done much arena since those days, but... Uh, yeah, I guess warriors are still good. I think they are. That's how I updated. I am on the arena scene and PvP scene of World of Warcraft. We also, we also got Execute here. Attempt to finish off a foe, causing 104 physical damage to the target and consuming 30 additional rage to deal up to 313 additional damage. So you can only use that on, on enemies that have lower than 20% health. So it's basically a finishing move to kill off like the remaining health of an enemy, executing them. That's why he's got his name, I execute, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna end the video off here and split the video in half, basically. And I'm gonna continue on in the next episode with the rest of the quest lines in Dunmoro. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll continue on straight from the point where we started off in the in the next episode. And if you did like the video, remember to click the like button. And if you didn't like the video, click the dislike button. I also like to hear your comments about what I can do to uh, to make you guys happy, and also uh, like what you liked about the video and stuff like that. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already and check out my other videos by clicking the annotations or the links in the video description as well. I've been Crudeless and you've been awesome. Take care until next time. Farewell, awesome person. Ah.